All right, guys, let's get started. We're gonna do a Shift A to adding a circle this time, and now we're gonna come here to the uh, tiny window here. I'm gonna do some changes. 32, I think, is too much for what we're trying to do. We can simply just do 24 vertices. And other than that, I don't think we need to do anything, and especially this time, because this is going to be the outer circle, so I'm just gonna leave uh, the field type as nothing. And then let's type it out, okay? And then the second thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add in a, another circle, inner circle. So for the outer circle, we're gonna go tap key, uh, select eight, everything, and then we're gonna either E and S to scale it up. That's just going to change this inner circle as a support loop, and then we're gonna do some changes. So let's tap it out, and then we're gonna do Shift eight, adding another small circle, and then this one, this one, we're going to do a making sure this is aligned to the views because we're right now we're in the top view and we just want to quickly change that align to the view and now we are going to do as 12 so just making less vertices and then we can actually hit s to shrink it down a tiny bit this is kind of the inner circle then we can just link to the the faces okay so now we can hit edit mode tap it out okay so now as you can see here we have a two circles in here and basically right now there's no volume or thickness going on here we're trying to do is to building the plane first and then we're gonna increase the thickness so next we're going to select this circle and the other one holding shift key and then hit Control j to join them now it has become a one single mesh because if i go to the edit mode hitting tab it's everything is being visible so we can easily connect it um, vertices okay so that is pretty easy so what we can do here next is we basically just need to connect these two vertices uh, and join the faces okay so we're going to select these uh, four vertices hit f key f key so this is something that we already have it and then now we can just select these uh, two and these two hit f key these two these two have f key so I'm, we're just trying to building a uh, basic connection or the th the, th the shape for the for this kind of like a, a unique wheels or the uh, I think probably we did something wrong. Right? Probably gonna go with these two with that and F key. So. I think that is even distribution because this is 12 so we're separate into three parts same thing the outer circle this one is 24 so it also can be divided by three so each part is can be uh, divided by eight so that's all good so everything is even so what we can do next we're just going to uh, to select this hit F key to fill it and hit I to insert it one more time so that we can have a support loop for that as well. So we can simply hit X to delete the face. Uh, now, this is kind of the shape that we want to go. And if you want to have a smaller circle, you can definitely select that. Hit S to shrink it down. Then that that is it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to adding some thickness. So select the whole thing. Hit the tap key, hit A, select everything, and it will go to the front view. Hit E and Z, just drag it out. Okay, so you can hold in control, uh, snapping to the uh, increment. So, and that is all good. So, and then tap it out. So this is the shape that we want to create, right? And we're gonna select that. Hit R to rotate it 90 degrees, and we can even just come in here. Alt Z, X-ray mode. Hit G Y to make it a little bit thinner. I feels like. That's too thick. So that is the shape that we want to create. Pretty simple. However, this is not a really uh, smooth and usable uh, uh, geometry that we wanted to have having a photorealistic effect. So next thing we need to do is we are going to adding a bevel. So go here. Uh, the easiest way is to select these sharp edges is going to the edge selection mode and then come here to select and then do the sharp edges. If you really want to make this even easier, you can just uh, right click to add on the quick favorite. So I already did it. So if I'm hitting the Q key, I already have this select sharp edges. And now you can see I have selected the sharp edges. However, there are edges that I don't think I want to make them 
looks like too sharp so especially these two three edges like that so i can go to the top view alt z x-ray mode and i'm gonna go here hit the b key and the drag the middle mouse button just kind of deselect that so come down back out here let's double check the edges that we want to do a bevel or to try to make it a sharp okay so that is all good so what we can do here is Control b to do bevel and the left click and come here to adjusting the width 0.002 two segment and usually i try to using uh, uh to shape it to one to maintain this the original shape but if you want to make it a the angles look looking a little bit smoother you can definitely stay with 0.5 okay and then for the uh the corner side uh for this particular case i don't think there are too much that we need to do but usually i change this to the arc okay so let's tap it out now see everything okay go to the edit mode and uh, now we can adding a subsurface modifier control 2 to adding that then let's go take a look Okay, now you can see there's something definitely not being added, so which is the this part. So I think we need to do a better job on the uh, bevel part because we forgot to adding this as a uh, support loop. So in order to make this sharp, so we need to uh, hit, hit the Control Z to undo it. So this thing happened very often. So we want to make sure uh, you're aware this is happening. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna select this edge. And this edge for sure. So we're gonna have a sharp angle. This one, this one, and that one. This one, that one. Okay, I think we have the sharp angle for the things we want. So let's do the bevel one more time, shall we? Control, oh, this one right here. Almost forgot that one. Okay, all right. Control B to bevel it, and 0 0.002, and then let's do. Because we already did some adjustments earlier, so the, everything, all the setup and numbers, to stay on over here, so it's much easier. Uh, now what we can see here, it looks pretty decent, you know. And also because this corner, now we're having this, we're basically having this arc is actually is important to set up as arc because we need to fix this ungong and it's pretty easy to fix okay so now let's do click left click and then tap it out control 2 to adding a subsurface modifier two levels now it looks pretty good and right click shade smooth and you probably may surprise like yeah we have ungongs here right why this thing looks beautiful because the ungongs actually on a flat surface you don't have to really worry about too much about ingong if it is on a flat surface but for this particular practice or tutorials we're trying to make every uh, faces our qua so we can select this one that one j to join that pretty easy and yeah, same thing here hit j to join that so we're just gonna quickly fix this Okay, now same thing. We're just gonna fix it the other side over here. It's pretty simple. Hit J to join that. Select these two, and to to getting everything become a quad. So, and that 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 is also one reason why we're using arc uh, when we're doing the bevel. Uh, you can making sure you remember that it's gonna make your jobs much easier and to more efficient when you're dealing with these ungons when you're doing bevel. Okay, so now everything has been done and properly, and uh, let's do a quick check. Let's see if we have any ungong left. Select, select the similar, select all by trade and face by side. So right now we're selecting like a four. So let's undo it. Uh, disable. Let's do disable the subsurface modifier in order to see that better so seems like we have some ungong left okay of course so we need to fix that same thing over here so if the edit mode very easy to fix same same thing because we did a bevel so we just needed to uh, getting these fixed on, on topology and of course on the render side there's no issue at all 
simply because they are still the same thing on the uh, the ungong, but uh, they are on the flat surface. So if you are not really interested in getting every topology correct, you don't have to go through this step. Uh, but if you are doing the models for uh, animations or you know this model is going to going through some deformations or doing some shapes changes, this you have to do this step in order to make a good uh, model for game or for animation. Okay, so now if we turn things on, everything looks great. And typically, if I see this long, big uh, uh, quads, I usually try to getting some support loop to helping with the geometry. Control R, adding two, and Control R to adding a two. And if you you can even adding some loop cut over here if you if you want it. Control R. So now if I'm adding all these support loop now everything feels like a very even grid to getting the thing fixed okay so go to the object mode everything is beautiful so yeah, let's see uh, let's check one more time go to the face selection mode this time I'm using the quick favorite and select the, sh uh, the face by size and see if we have any ungong left seems like everything is in qua so I think we're good couple more loop cut in here so I think we are good and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next time bye